Bank. Page 28. Here we can see a lovely picture of a tree on which are seated a bird and many of its young ones. Page 29. Flying together. What are some of the things your parents and teachers tell you to do on time? Get up in the morning. Do the homework. Pack your school bag. Trees and plants are to be conserved. Discuss in class and find out which plants, creepers or trees may be harmful for the existence of others. What happened when you didn't do as they asked you to do? Deep in a forest stood a very tall tree. Its leafy branches spread out like strong arms. This tree was the home of a flock of wild geese. They felt safe there. One of the geese was a wise old bird. He noticed a small creeper at the foot of the tree. He spoke to the other birds about it. Do you see that creeper? He said to them, Let us destroy it. Why must we destroy it? Asked the geese in surprise. It is so small. What harm can it do? My friends, replied the wise old bird, that little creeper will soon grow. As it creeps up this tree, it will become thick and strong. What of that? asked the geese. What harm can a creeper do us? Don't you see? replied the wise bird. With the help of that creeper, it will be possible for someone to climb this tree. A hunter can come up and kill us all. Page 30 Well, there's no hurry, they replied. The creeper is very small. It would be a pity to destroy it now. Destroy the creeper while it is still young, the old bird advised. Now it is tender and you can cut it easily. Later it will become hard and you will not be able to cut it. We'll see, we'll see, answered the birds. But they did not destroy the creeper. They forgot the wise old bird's advice. As the creeper grew, it began winding its way up the tree. Stronger and stronger it became, until it was as strong as a thick rope. One morning, when the geese had gone out in search of food, a hunter came to the forest. So this is where the wild geese live, he said to himself. When they come back in the evening, I shall catch them. The hunter climbed up the tree with the help of the creeper. He got to the top and spread his net there. Page 31 then he climbed down and went away. In the evening, the geese returned home. They did not notice the net. As they flew into the tree, they were trapped. They struggled hard to get out, but could not. Help! Help! cried the geese. We are caught in the hunter's net. What shall we do? Don't make a fuss now, said the wise old bird. Long ago I told you to destroy the creeper, but you did not. Now see what has happened. Tomorrow morning the hunter will come back 
and kill us all. We were foolish, wept the birds. We are very sorry. We did not listen to you. Please tell us what to do. Then listen carefully, replied the wise bird. When the hunter comes, you must all pretend to be dead. Just lie still. The hunter will not want dead birds. He will throw us to the ground. It will then be easy for him to climb down, collect the dead birds, and take them home. Page thirty-two. When the last of us has been thrown down, we must quickly get up and fly away. In the morning, the hunter came to the tree and. Climbed up, he looked at the geese in the net. They are all dead, he muttered to himself. He threw them out of the net one by one. The birds lay still until the last one had been thrown down. Then, all at once, they got up, flapped their wings, and flew away. The hunter. Was taken by surprise. From the top of the tree, he watched all the geese fly away. A story by Shiv Kumar, adapted from stories from Panchatantra, a wise old bird. New words: geese, plural for goose, large web-footed bird. Creeper, plant that needs support to grow, usually along a wall or a tree. Winding, go in circular, spiral course. Muttered, spoken in a low tone. Flapped, move wings up and down. Page thirty-three. Let's read. One, where did the geese live? Two, why did the old bird advise the other birds to destroy the creeper? Three, why did the geese cry, "Help, help"? Four, what did the hunter do when he thought that the geese were dead? Five, why did the geese pretend to be dead? Six, describe one incident when you got into trouble because you did not do your work on time. State whether the following statements are true or false. One, the tree was the house of a flock of parrots. Two, the wise old bird wanted the creeper to be destroyed. Three. The hunter climbed the tree with the help of a ladder. Four, when caught in the net, the foolish birds began to weep. Five, the wise old bird helped them to escape. Page thirty-four. Let's listen. Listen to the following paragraph: the ant and the dove. On his way home. An ant saw a sparkling fountain. He crawled onto its wall to take a closer look. Suddenly, he slipped and fell into the water. He gurgled and panicked, and waved his legs in the air. "Help! I can't swim!" he cried. Luckily, just at that moment, a friendly dove flew by. She saw that the tiny ant was drowning and quickly flew to a nearby tree. She pulled off a leaf and let it glide down to the ant. Here you are, she cooed and flew away. Adapted from Aesop's Fables. One, why do you think the dove helped the ant? Two, how do you think? 
the ant felt on finding the leaf. 3. Have you ever been in trouble like the ant? Did anyone help you? Page 35 Let's talk. 1. Work in pairs. Ask your friend questions about all the things he does. Use question words such as where, what, how, who, when, why. One is done for you. Anu, I watch TV in the evening. Amit, when do you watch TV? Anu, I play games. Amit, blank. Anu, I collect stamps. Amit, blank. Anu, I play in the ground. Amit, blank. Anu, on Sunday, I go shopping. Amit, blank. 2. Answer these questions about yourself. 1. What is your name? 2. What languages do you speak? 3. How old are you? 4. Which is your favourite food? 5. Where did you go yesterday? 6. Which country do you belong to? 7. When do you go to sleep? 8. Why do you drink milk? Page 36 3. In groups of 5, discuss what you would do if you were caught in the following situations. Your friend falls in the play field and is hurt. You are trapped in a fire. You are stuck in a traffic jam. Let's write. 1. The words in the clouds describe something or someone in the story. Name them in the blanks provided. Make sentences of your own with the words given in the clouds. Wise. Blank. Careless. Blank. Thick and strong. Blank. Foolish. Blank. Tall. Blank. Page 37 2. Here are some answers about the given picture. 1. The colour of the ant is black. 2. It lives on land. 3. It has two long antennae. 4. It crawls on the ground. 5. It eats sugar. Now, frame questions for the above answers. You have been provided with a space. 3. Fill in the blanks with prepositions such as to, at, of, on, in, into, with. One has been done for you. 1. This tree was the home of a flock of wild geese. 2. He noticed the creeper blank the foot of the tree. 3. It would be a pity. Blank. Destroy it now. 4. As they flew, blank, the tree, they were trapped. 5. The boy ran, blank, the dog. 6. The frogs jumped, blank, the well. 7. The girl was thrilled, blank, see her new bicycle. 8. The birds were caught, blank, the net. 9. The children walked, blank, the bridge. Page 38. 4. Complete the paragraph with suitable words from the box. Around. Across. With. Along. To. After. Next to. Into. From. One day I was walking, blank, the bank of the river. I saw my friend running, blank, the field. He was calling my name and waving, blank, me. I stopped and waited. Blank, sometime, he reached where I was standing. He said, I went all, blank, the town, looking for you. 
I have some exciting news to share. Blank, you. Do you remember the old house? Blank, the neem tree. Guess who is moving? Blank, that house. Janak Das, the great magician. Now we can learn lots of magic tricks. Blank, him. Five. Fill in the blanks given below with question words. For example, where do you live? One. Blank. Do you play? Two. Blank. Do you get up? Three. Blank. Do you have for breakfast? Four. Blank. Do you go to school? Five. Blank. Do you like best in the school? Games, art, or music? Six. Blank. Is your birthday? Seven. Blank. Do you want for your birthday? Page thirty-nine. Six. Reference to context. One. Well, there's no hurry. The creeper is very small. It would be a pity to destroy it now. Two. So this is where the wild geese live. Who said this? Blank. Blank. To whom was it said? Blank, blank. When was it said? Blank, blank. Draw pictures of the speakers of the above lines. Page forty. Fun time. One. Proverbs are short, wise sayings. For example, look before you leap. This means that we should think carefully before we take any action. Here are some popular English proverbs. Read them aloud together and discuss what each could mean. Old is gold. As you sow, so shall you reap. Unity is strength. United we stand, divided we fall. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Two, look at this proverb: "All's well that ends well." One, discuss what it means. Can you think of events or happenings in life where this proverb can be used? Two, write down your story or the event, then read the paragraph to your neighbor. The clap word game. Three, let's play the clap word game. Where the word produces one sound, clap once, as in creep. Clap twice if the word can be broken up into two syllables, as in creeper, and thrice, as in two more row. Creeper. Struggled. Tomorrow. Geese, throw, foolish, possible, noticed, carefully, flapped, returned, evening, trapped, surprise.